best work. Yo, it's go time, show time, never back in downtime. One shot, yo, make it count, yo. Crunch time, shine time, make this moment my time. Get a grip, yo, ready, set, go. We bring the thunder. Bring the thunder. Let's work. Bring the thunder. Let's go. Bring the thunder. Let's work. Bring the thunder. Yeah. It's my Hello, gorillas. I'm your boy, Chef Perry, the vegan gorilla. Today you're going to make a little uh, caramel sauce. Uh, I kind of missed that nice caramel taste uh, before going vegan. So it's, uh, it's nice on desserts, on bananas. Um, you know, you can put it on some uh, vegan ice cream, frozen bananas, stuff like that. Put in your smoothies. Uh, this one's a healthy version, so it's got uh, it's made of the prime. Uh, the prime ingredient is dates here, so I use uh, medjool dates. Uh, make sure you pit them. So I got basically two cups of dates, soaking in about one full lemon I put in, and a little bit of water. Let that soak for about two hours to soften it up. And then I got some maple syrup, more lemon. Nice vanilla, pure vanilla, and a little sea salt. So we're gonna get that all mixed up together and uh, create some sauce, all right? Let's get this a go. So, first I wanna put some uh, maple syrup in. So again, so here I got maple syrup, true maple syrup, Canadian stuff, eh? So we'll go with quarter cup. Nice golden. Maple syrup. Again, use the real stuff. Don't use the uh, no name or the uh, sugary syrupy stuff. That's not true maple syrup. It won't have the same taste as maple syrup. So now we're going to drain this. Nice little uh, water, so and lemon. So nice thing with this is actually don't throw this juice out because you can use it again to make another batch for one. And number two, you can actually put it in your uh, smoothie, make a smoothie after, or you know, just here for a couple days or whatever in the fridge, and uh, make a smoothie out of it, put some stuff in there. A lot of uh, nutrients from, from the dates and stuff, and lemon, so it, it's really good for you. So I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna make a smoothie later. So I got my two cups of nice dates, make sure they're pitted. No pits allowed. Especially our pits. All right, fresh vanilla extract. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon. So good. Little more things. Got that one. Little spillage. Little spillage. Okay, and then we're gonna go with about half of a lemon. Now this is just pure lemon juice. There's no other nothing else in here. Um, so this is it's fresh as fresh can be without squeezing it myself. And we're gonna go with two and a half. Two and a half tablespoons of that. Uh, don't worry, all the ingredients will be linked below. I'm playing with this a little bit too, so I'm, I might have to adjust a little bit, so I don't want to add too much lemon in. Um, you can always add more, you can't take it out, so. That's one of the, uh, you gotta be careful with it here. Making things like this, so. We'll have to uh, look like it a little bit and I'll do a taste test, but once I get this perfected, I'll put all the ingredients in the uh, link below. So subscribe, like, and all that stuff, and uh, I keep making these videos for you guys and sharing recipes. So one other thing, we're going to put a little bit of sea salt in. So we're going to go with a teaspoon of sea salt. And the best ingredient of all, a little bit of love. That's right. That's right. You gotta have the love. All right, let's get a little clutter. Put this over here. 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 Put that on. And let's stir it up. Damn lid. 
<laughs> it does it to me every time, and yet I know it. I somehow keep forgetting about it. Anyway, so let's give this a shot. My handy little uh, tool here. That's not bad. It's not 100%, but it's not bad. Mm. A little more salt in that, I think. It's got enough lemon. A little bit more salt. It's not much. And I'm going to do maybe half a teaspoon. I think we need a little bit more, just a little bit more vanilla. A half a teaspoon, tablespoon on this one. All right. Give it a shot, see what happens. Cover that up, because I'm going to hang on there now. Oh, wow. Sweet, but not too sweet. No, oh, you might get it sweet, but it's uh, got a nice flavor to it. it. Tastes just a hint of that lemon, which is nice, not uh, not too much so. A little bit of the maple syrup and the vanilla in there, so that's uh, that's a nice caramel. This is gonna be great on frozen bananas. Mm. Very nice. All right, let me get this in a little container, clean this up. I'll be right back and I'll give it a little uh, reading. Okay, see you in a minute. I am back. All right, got her plated up. And uh, again, look at this. It looks awesome. It's a nice little decadent dessert, if you want to call it a little dessert or uh, appetizer or dip uh, for when you have some guests come over. Um, you're not comfortable sharing it. You can put them in small little pieces, make, make your own little plates up first. But uh, this is great as a little, uh, little get together icebreaker. A little bit of date dip and caramel dip. And again, it's healthy. You got veggies. I got some, you just put a few bananas and some apples in there. But it's just basically lemon juice and uh, a little bit of salt and uh, vanilla and maple syrup and dates. So it's all, all good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's not bad. Let's give it a taste and see what happens. I wish I try the banana or the, uh, or the apple. Although, Grill. I do like bananas, but I think the caramel will go good on, banana, on, the, on the apples. Let's give this a shot. Mmm. 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 Jackpot. That's nice. That's a lot better than just on its own, like when you taste it with the, with the apple juice behind it. Oh, wow. That's very nice. I can really taste the date, but it's not too overpowering. Um, it's creamy, it's a little gooey, which is what you want for a, a caramel paste. Uh, that stuff is really good. That's good. Um, hang on a second. <laughs> mm. Nice. I want to say, I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Out of five, um, not quite a five, only because it's not, if you're not vegan and you do have caramel sauce, you know what it actually tastes like, but this is pretty pretty darn close. And it's uh, it's a great appetizer, a great little uh, 
little dessert if you want. Again, you can put a couple scoops of this into your protein shake or, you know, something like that, or you can put some on a little bit of oatmeal in the morning. It's, it's great uh, as a sweetener, put on a little bit of cookies, whatever you want to do. It's a frozen banana, put frozen bananas in there, a little bit of vanilla, put some of that in on top, and you got a nice little dessert. Or you can just cut up some fresh fruit like this and put it out. It's fantastic. So give this a shot. This is uh, really good. Very simple. The only time that you need is, well, I do about two hours soak with the dates uh, so that they soften up a little bit. Especially if you don't have like a, I mean, I got a Vitamix, which is pretty strong blender. Um, if you have one that's not as strong of a motor or that, that's just let it soak a little bit. Two hours is good. Uh, it's more than enough for the Vitamix. I could probably do it without soaking it. But uh, it definitely makes it a little bit more easier to uh, cream up with that. So give it a shot. Let me know. And uh, if I don't see you again or I do see you again, I would say much love and be kind. See you later. Damn, ooh, that's the banana, that's good. Holy crap, mm. that is nice.